Hello everyone, uh, Hummingbird Marble Products back again with another video. This time explaining uh, how the fuselage of the new mid-mat 16-inch catapult glider works. So I'm holding the glider, one of my prototypes, in my hand. You can see that if I release the wing here, it pops forward. So if the airplane is in a thermal and threatening to fly away from you, um, you have a timer, which I'm going to show in a minute. Um, this timer is a silly putty timer, so I'll show you how it all works. Uh, and that basically activates or releases the wing so that after two minutes it pops forward. And then that makes the airplane go into kind of a sharp bunt and it, it sort of tumbles down. It looks like a tumbling pigeon if you've ever seen those. So yeah, it sort of tumbles and wiggles and waddles down, comes out of the thermal and will land back on the field ready for another flight. Uh, so the way that works, the way you set it up is you press it back into position. You take, this is a little activation st string with a, with a very fine music wire spring on it. This goes over here and goes under the fuse. So basically it wraps around this little peg at the back. The wing is bolted to that. And then it goes forward and hooks onto a little Silly Putty DT timer, which is included in the kit. The parts and the Silly Putty are included in the kit. And you can see, if you look very carefully, this is now very slowly moving. And in a few seconds, you'll see that it'll pull all the way around and release the line. So that's being pulled by the spring. The spring is essentially exerting, there you go a constant force on a silly putty and the little timer mechanism is pulling a couple of uh, little um, paddles through the silly putty. And so if I set it up for, you, you can set it up for about three minutes comfortably. Um, two minutes is typically what you're going for. So the fuselage looks like this after you've assembled it. This little aluminium tube that's a 1 16th diameter aluminum tube. Uh, inside the fuselage, there's a, a 3 32nd aluminum tube, which is basically uh, glued onto this one. So it's just a shorter tube, the width of the, of the fuselage interior. Uh, it's glued to this one, and then I've drilled a couple of holes through it, 90 degrees to each other, and inserted very, very short little, um, basically 3 millimeter long in this case carbon rods, which go through both tubes and stick past the edges of the sides of the tube. So it makes this like little, you know, they're basically the paddles that move through the silly putty. So this thing, when I rotate this aluminum rod here, what's happening is that it's hard to rotate because I can rotate it slowly at a steady rate because those little carbon rods are pulling there, are being pulled through the silly putty in the inside. And so where's the silly putty? Well, the way this fuselage works is there's basically five parts. There are the 164th plywood cheeks. These are just in their laser cut sheet, so you'd get a sheet like this in your kit. Uh, these are both 116th uh, lightweight balsa, and this is a 116th plywood core, okay? And you can see that they've all got this hole in them. So the way that goes is that that would be glued to there. You can see that the hole's lined up. Uh, this gets glued on the other side. Again, right, so you, when you glue this all together, you glue it so that the holes line up nicely. Just like that, okay. And that's kind of the container for the silly putty. You can see that there's a perforated ring out here. You only use that if you want to use one of the commercially av available viscous timers, which have a large diameter, they're 10 millimeter diameter. And then you cut that perforated ring out and you can insert those in place of the, the very simple silly putty timer that I supply. Um, then the plywood cheeks get cemented to the outside like that. And so you can see here that the in the middle of that hole, there's the little 1 16th diameter hole for this aluminum rod here, okay? So I supply about a gram of Silly Putty, uh, and you pack that gram of Silly, once you've glued all this together, 
you haven't yet glued on the last, the outer ply cheek here. So you've glued one of the ply cheeks to the rest of the sandwich assembly. In here, I don't show them, but there's a couple of plywood 1 16th inserts that go in here to reinforce the nose. Uh, all of this is on the plan. You pack the you pack that hole with silly putty, and then you take the little uh, mechanism I described and you push it into the silly putty. You can see it'll, it'll ooze out of this hole. The 1 16th aluminium will pop out that hole, so you can see like like here. Um, and those two little carbon paddles will now be inside this ring. You want to make sure, of course, that your carbon paddles are not going to bind on the balsa wood um, a cylinder. If they do, obviously the timer won't work. So there's got to be enough clearance that it doesn't bind. So once you're sure that it's not going to bind, it's all it's fitted in there, you will pack the silly putty in around, and then you'll take this cheek and you'll glue it on top so that you have an assembly that looks like this. Okay. Then as part of the kit, I supply little discs, basically three little discs. Uh, they're all out of plywood. So two larger ones out of 164th ply and an inner one out of uh, 116th ply. And those little discs get cemented to this aluminum uh, tube. Okay. Before you do that though, you have to drill a hole through it, kind of in the middle of the tube. So you would drill a hole through right about halfway between the edge of the tube and the fuselage side. You drill a hole and you insert a carbon rod like this one, or it can be steel too, it doesn't matter. So this rod here, that goes through the tube and through the, 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 the middle disc. You'll see the middle disc in the kit's actually got a slot in it. So you can put on the first outer disc, the middle disc, insert your carbon or steel rod, and then the outer disc, that whole sandwich, thing, that whole assembly gets glued together. And because this rod goes through the tube, it will bind with the tube. And basically, this rotates your um, paddles through the silly putty. You need this assembly because it provides some leverage for the spring to operate and, and work this thing in about two minutes. Okay, so hopefully that's clear. Uh, let me know if it's not. I'll make another video to try and clarify any issues.